Hi folks, Nathan here. You know, periodically when I go on to the administrative functions of Delvcast.com, I uh, start looking at some of our spam messages. And you know, you usually think you know what spam messages are going to be, right? Uh, make something bigger, or make something smaller, or uh, give me a billion dollars. That's usually what you think of when you think of spam. But I actually did something weird and started looking at the spam comments we were receiving, and they are fascinating. I don't even understand why we're getting them. In some version of reality, they would be legitimate comments, but probably not for our site or anything we do. And while there were some great comments on a lot of different posts, I realized a ton of them were sent to uh, Delve93 and the Delve Goes On, which is actually an episode we did two years ago. It's actually the last episode that we did for Mad Adventures Society. And, you know, that got me a little nostalgic because we're coming up on episode 200 of the show. And so, wistfully, I started looking at these. I have so many questions and uh, I need answers to them. So please go on this voyage with me right now as we take a deep dive through the spam folder. Hi there. Just became aware of your blog through Google and found that it's truly informative. Thank you. I'm going to watch out for Brussels. I'll be grateful if you continue this in future. Lots of people will be benefited from your writing. Cheers. It's a podcast. I'd say I'm with a meal. I absolutely love the cold, rainy days. I love the sun, but just can't stand the heat. Anyways, you've been assembling quite a lot of blue-black-white outfits as of lately. Not that I'm complaining, but go for some more color. Great outfit anyways. Lupna, you know what? Guess, Emil, what's with all the blue-black-white outfits as of lately? Come on! Lubna thinks you need some color, and when has Lubna steered you wrong? Get some color, Emil! Yeah, Emil! Think about it. This one is so nice. It can be rare to come across a specialist in whom you will surely have some faith. In the world today, nobody actually cares about showing others exactly how in this manner. How fortuitous I am to have actually found such a wonderful website as this. It truly is people like you who make a real difference these days through the strategies they talk about. They. This is how you know it's spam. It said we made a real difference. What I was going to say then thumb that comment up. This is why written input boxes are always at bottom. They make you read the other comments. That's true. Unless it's too long like this page, then most people, including myself, will just skip to the bottom. Also, I agree with what Jack said about the stars on March 31st, 2010. Jack, I don't know what you said about the stars, but, uh, yeah, I agree with you, too. If it was anything along the lines of stars are awesome, I'm gonna go with you on that. Good job. Thank you so much for this comprehensive list. I didn't have a list in any single post, ever. <laughs> I will be leaving for Paris this Friday for my first visit, and I am beyond excited. I had no idea where to start as far as finding special stores with special perfumes. Your list has given me a great guide. Merci beaucoup! If, it, if there's anything I know about, it's where to find great perfumes. And I do have to say, that may be the most French comment I have ever heard in my life, especially on this show. Le prognostic, le problème c'est que comme je vous le finale de la Europe League. Okay, so uh, actually this is the most French the show has ever been. Apologies to that previous comment. You just got out Frenched. This piece needs to be put away in a special journal for those days you get down. After reading this, it's an inspiration to any woman who is told she can't. Thank you. P.S. Naomi's mom, will you please share your bread recipe? Yeah, Naomi's mom! Why are you holding out on the bread recipe? You don't want anyone else to enjoy your bread? 
Come on, Naomi's mom. But you know what? Hey, Naomi's mom, I want that bread recipe too. Badly. Thanks. You told us exactly what we wanted to know, and that's one of the best thought-out reviews I've read in a long time. We, d we don't do reviews. Oh, and the pics were very helpful too. It looks a lot nicer in the pics than I thought it would. Also didn't have any pictures. Okay, this one is a hot mess and I love it. I am also writing to let you be aware of the great encounter my cousin's daughter enjoyed browsing your website. This is third person don't give a crap. My cousin's daughter had an experience on your site. She came to find a wide variety of details, which include how it is like to possess an ideal helping spirit to let the mediocre ones just learn about selected grueling subject matter. You really surpassed people's expectations. I appreciate you for imparting such great, dependable, explanatory, and cool tips about this uh, topic to Tanya. You know what? You're welcome, Tanya. You're welcome. If there's anything we like to do here on Delve, it's give details about how it is like to possess an ideal helping spirit to let the mediocre ones just learn about selected grueling subject matter. In fact, that really was the mission statement when Alex and I started this project so many years ago. Thanks for understanding that, Tanya. You're, you're very special and I'll hold a place in my heart. And uh, you know what? Thank you for being this nice person's cousin's daughter. I think that still just makes you their cousin. I'm pretty sure. But let's be ultra specific. We love details. Says so, says so right there. <laughs> People are always looking for answers. Reasons for the way things are. So if a chance coincidence happens, it seems to become the foundation upon which people base a belief though the actual time and place of the occurrence is forgotten. Deep. I haven't read Highland Hero, but your excerpt is wonderful. And I love a good Highland Hero. Good luck with your novel, Julie R. I haven't read Highland Hero, and I love a good Highland Hero. Okay, there's a contradiction in terms. Well, uh, Julie R., I want to tell you that uh, I have also not read Highland Hero, but apparently I wrote a terrific excerpt about it. I mean, I nailed that excerpt. So good. Thank you for recognizing my hard work, Julie. This is so interesting to me that there is a difference in feeling. I mean, it makes sense because when you eat badly, you feel badly, but I guess I've never thought of meat as being bad for us. Are we a health blog now? <laughs> what is this? Who were these messages meant for is what I'm just trying to figure out. I need this information. Who, who was supposed to receive these amazing insights? Okay, so I'm not going to read this whole thing, but this first line just makes me laugh every time I read it. Earlier, there's some good people all around. <laughs> I can't. I'm sure that that was just phrased badly, but it's also kind of true. <laughs> I love these so much. Very nice post and straight to the point. Thank you. I don't know if this is actually the best place to ask, but do you guys have any thoughts on where to employ some professional writers? Thank you. Dude, if we had any idea how to employ people in this industry, Oh, we would wholeheartedly do it. <laughs> please, please, anyone out there who would like to lend a hand, please do. We would always love to employ professional writers. We don't have the money to do it. But if anyone out there could, that would be great. I, I don't know where that would be. Dear Erica and Craig, we, se <laughs> we send our very best to all of you as you struggle through this difficult week. It has been difficult for Erica and Craig. We hope by next week everything will improve by leaps and bounds. This Christmas will be a very special one, knowing that Gavin will be home. We pray. Dun dun dun. Much love, Auntie Bev. I want to know so much more about these people. I, I just do. And you know what? I don't know them at all, but I am also really happy that Gavin is going to be home. What well, we pray. 
thank you, Auntie Bev, for giving us that f grim foreshadowing. Erica and Greg send their best. Craig. Erica and Craig. We don't want to get their names wrong. That would be terrible. They have had a really difficult week, so... Gorgonzola is one of my favorites. Having it in such a fresh salad sounds amazing. I have always loved the pepperiness of arugula, but not the bitterness of radicchio. I suppose one can just leave it out. The other ingredients would more than compensate for the loss. You know, I know that these are just spam comments, and I don't even know what they pertain to, but surprisingly, some of them are informative. I also like gorgonzola, and that does sound good. Maybe we should just be like a food blog. <laughs> Great app, guys. All your hard work has been shown, and I'm sure everyone is extremely grateful, including me. Fantastic app. Not sure if anyone has thought or suggested this before, but what about integrating a system like Safe Runway with Garmin for the major aerodromes? Just a thought. What app? I'll take credit for it. Obviously. Thanks, Rick. That worked better, but I did have to make one change. Not sure if it's because I previously had it installed or not, but the tools.exe that was in the 2012 tools directory was an old version. Yeah, you just sent this to me, and you're talking about the 2012 tools directory. Go freaking figure it's the old version. Moving on. We're going to move on from this. What are you stating, man? I understand everyone's got their own viewpoint, but really? Listen, your weblog is cool. I like the energy you put into it, especially with the vids and the pics. Okay, they're not talking about our site. But come on, there's got to be a better way to say this, a way that doesn't make it seem like most people here is stupid. I want to make something very clear. At no point am I trying to make anybody who comes here seem like they is stupid. It would have really helped his point if he said, are stupid. Just saying. Irene, you look fantastic, Katie. So does Bruno. What does he think about it all? Good luck to both you and James. Love, Auntie Irene. Oh, you gotta give me more than that. You just introduced four new characters, and I need to know everything about them. Who, who are they? Where do they live? Is it the Brady Bunch reboot? <laughs> We've all been waiting for it. Wonderful blog. Thanks. I found it while surfing around on Yahoo News. Do you have any suggestions on how to get listed in Yahoo News? I've been trying for a while, but I never seem to get there. Thanks. Were we listed in Yahoo News? If so, no one told me. Hey, if you find out an answer to that, let me know. Because if we got featured once, I certainly hope we can get featured again. <laughs> I had a really long, cool mag cease, is not a word, talking about how awesome this is, but I accidentally clicked a link and lost it. Oh, noes! Anywho, I like when you leave the red pencil lines. I like seeing the original placement of the letters. Is this one of those things where I like something way more than I should because you didn't really spend any time on it? They know us so well. <laughs> I just put red pencil lines everywhere. It's great. Having read this, I thought it was really enlightening. It's not an article. It's a podcast. I appreciate you finding the time and energy to put this article together. I once again find myself spending a lot of time both reading and posting comments. But so what? It was still worth it. You're welcome? It's like you read my mind. I have that ability. You seem to know so much about this, like you wrote the book in it or something. I think that you can do with some pics to drive the message home a little bit. But other than that, this is excellent blog, an excellent read, I will certainly be back. It's a podcast, people. There's not really much to read. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe pics would help. I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. Oh my, I am hoop earring addicted when not wearing pearl studs. The ones you picked are all lovely. Some classic gold, silver, others more original. 
I wouldn't know which ones to choose. Maybe the twisted ones? Unless I could get a bulk price for all of them. Have a great day, Anne. Are we a fashion blog? So many questions, as I said. Thanks for joining in. The word meme kind of weirds me out, because I'm a dummy and I didn't realize that people do stuff like this all the time. But whatever it is, it was awesome. I'm actually going to disagree with you. Memes are not really awesome. <laughs> They're just something to clutter up every news feed I've ever seen. <laughs> it is hard not to love cookies. Fact. We got so many requests for this recipe, and it made many of the viewers remember their childhood. Thank you very much for you comment, and we hope that you will bake them soon. Our favorite are the ones with the ground almond. Yes, the secret to a good cookie is one singular ground almond. Okay, one almond. No more. Not plural. You take the one almond, you ground it in, and go with it. Period. Saw your post before you left, but didn't comment, and have been waiting to hear of your adventures. Wow, it looks like a truly magical festival, and you look lovely as usual. I love the peacock dress and the long purple one. That was during my Lady Gaga phase. We, we try not to talk about it anymore. Ah! This dress is too, too amazing. My mother has a golden vintage flapper style dress from her days in high school that I have always envied. And this is like staring into a shiny, sleek, elegant piece of her past and my own future as if only the auspicious forces of Bogloven will be on my side. I would style it with my classy black heels and a thin snakeskin gold class belt. I am taking some notes. This is Fashion Week in a spam folder, and I love it. I love it. I am going to be the toast of the New York fashion scene just by putting some of this to work. So, glad to know the interview opened up Aaron's work further to someone who was already an enthusiastic reader. Hope you'll come back to the blog with more comments. Thank you. Who's Aaron? What does he work on? I am so curious about these people now. Oh, that sounds like a great place for people watching. And you describe it so well, I feel like I was there. You really made me laugh. Oh, and I love Da Vinci's Code and Harry Potter too. I'm fine with Harry Potter. Da Vinci Code. Yeah. That's great. Number seven is awesome. Oh, and if you didn't have my vote before, the fact that you're a Big Bang Theory and Dollhouse fans pretty much seals the deal. That's what I always look for when I'm voting for somebody. Uh, the television shows they enjoy. D democracy at its best. But hey, number seven. Uniqueness is always about taking risks. And I think this one doesn't exactly is a success. The structure itself and the materials used are indeed stunning, but I really dislike the bolt idea in the front. It may be innovative, but it doesn't seem to blend with the other structures there. Yeah, what's with the bolt? When did you sell out, man? Jeez. I came here for, like, uniqueness, and all of a sudden I get this, like, cookie-cutter, you know, bargain basement bolt on the front. Who would do something like that? Sad. So, uh, there you go. Some random spam comments that really bring up way more questions than they answer uh, on a show we did two years ago. I will make sure to link to the actual episode in the description so that if, if anyone wants to go back and revisit it and maybe see if there's literally anything that could be pertinent to those comments be my guest if if you see anything uh you know comment it, uh below i will appreciate your utter commitment and you know if we need to we can always revisit this at some point um it's not that there weren't some beautiful comments uh that were on other posts but we had such a concentration on this one particular episode 
I just like, well, this is a marathon. <laughs> it's just too, too beautiful for this world. And as always, thank you for joining us and good gaming. All right, so one bonus comment. This one did not come from episode 93, but it, it starts with the greatest line out of all of them. So I had to share it with you. And this actually came as a, as a comment for Delve 135, The Halls of Tear. Thank you for every other informative site. You're welcome. You're welcome for everything we didn't do. <laughs> not this. Oh, oh, not this. But everything else. Thank you for that. What did we do with our lives? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>